Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we're actually doing a free play Friday, and it's Knights of Valor. Knights of Valor is a game that actually has been presented to me a few times on the Asian networks. I thought I was going to do it as a Made in Japan at one point, but uh, it, its menu system was not ingratiating itself to me to navigation, and Knights of Valor obviously has a lot of followers, a lot of people playing it, um, in Asia, that actually meant there was plenty of translations for it around for it, so it wasn't that hard to get into it, but I just chose to kind of like, ah, I'll get to you at some point, and obviously now it has, now it's available. So this is the reason why I do the Made in Japan series, because six to eight months down the line, I end up having to, I'm not that I end up having to, but I end up doing a video that might be them releasing finally in the US or UK or in Europe, and the game itself has already been around for so damn long that I could have covered it months previous. And of course, none of you guys are watching the ones that are actually being shown six months and months previous. So it feels like I'm actually kind of like, it feels like I'm taking crazy pills. I'm just smashing my head against the wall whenever it comes to things like this. So Knights of Valor obviously is an action combat RPG uh, set within a, almost like a fictional mythical Sengoku Bazaara kind of like world, you know, like a Dynasty Warriors characters and historical figures along with a um, a, a, a warring states kind of situation, you know what I mean? You know, like uh, essentially having a bunch of uh, parts of the country fighting against each other that are um, constantly at odds and with that basically creating the factions that you're going to play as part of an MMO. So Games and Flames, what have you got to show us in Knights of Valor? Come on. And uh, Cinema Sins, calling in just the fact that there's probably a minute of logos here. I'm still counting. There we go. Still silent, though. That's the only thing. I'm sure the game itself will actually be quite active and inventive and exciting. It's just the fact that it has to connect to the servers as well. So I like that. The logo, though. The logo for Kings of Val Knights of Valor actually looks pretty nice. I mean, I've seen it in uh, Chinese a number of times, and this is something thing where I never got around to it. And again with a logo? Motherfucker! The 15th anniversary of... Whoa! Alright, so this was actually originally a 2D scroll and beat-em-up series? Oh, man! Man, if this was actually a 2D beat-em-up series... I would enjoy the balls out of that. Boom, 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 boom. So, um, I don't know what guard I'm going to go with yet, but I've got a feeling it's going to be the sprightly, fast... Archer girl! Archers! Yes, I take archers. Long range. Long range. Archer check. I'm playing as her. This actually reminds me a lot of Dungeon Fighters. So far. Although, admittedly, Dungeon Fighters, like I said, was like a 2D scroll and beat-em-up game. Uh, we've obviously got a mage as well. Lady mage or lady archer? Hmm. Are these like heroes that you don't actually play as? Or is this... Uh, I don't I don't know if this is actually like the characters you're playing as. Or if this is a, like archetypes or heroes that are in the story. I'm excited to learn. I'm excited to learn. <laughs> I am excited to learn. Won't do any long in rewards of course. Uh, plenty of things you could buy. Uh, I'm not going to be buying any of those right now. But, um, yeah. Daily login rewards, what do you get? 14 days. Okay. Uh, see, there's essentially stuff that you can use. Um, what is this? Complete five more achievements. To, okay, so this, like, it's literally just throwing stuff at me already for, like, things I need to do. Daily login. Alright, cool. 20,000 zenny, I'm sure. What's in my mailbox? Nothing. Yeah, cool. Took that. Means I took the extra bit of money, it's all good. And, uh, start. May as well just jump straight into it. I have no idea what's going on here. Remember, you have to remove the attributes from a weapon, then you can relocate it with other attributes. Reallocate it. Alright, so I imagine that's the case, but I'm not going to have to worry about that for a while, I'm sure. Just let me play. So that's the only problem I have sometimes with these um, free-to-play games, is that they put as many lines as they can between you and actual action and combat because it's partially to kind of like get you to go through or get you to regiment it to a constant pain it's mentality like oh you have to do that you have to pay for that bit you have to pay for that bit and 
or remind you of all too many details on like the depth of its mechanics whenever you literally could just be playing it for a short period of time. Okay. Oh shit, do I have to play as him? So this is essentially going to play like Gold Axe? Awesome! <laughs> Very interesting! This is what you get for opposing the Tipping Rebels. <coughs> oh. Guan Yu, the Tipping Rebels are terrorizing the common people again. We cannot let it slide and pretend we didn't see this. Zhang Fei, do not act impetuously. Don't forget to tilt L or press direction twice in the same direction to run. Press X to jump. Press that and X to jump backwards and evade. And press R1 to dash with temporary invincible. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm getting into this. Come on, the yellow turban bastard. Come on, you yellow turban bastards. Come and meet my enormous fists. <laughs> Zhang Fei, wait. A martial arts fighter must remember. Press square to attack, press L to defend, and press direction and square together to use special skills. I already know all those things. Let's go! Alright, so it definitely feels like I'm playing uh, Gold Nux. They all dead? I think they're dead. Ah, you bastard think you can take me down? Zhang Fei, check the mini map and the arrow on the grind carefully to find out which way to go. Ah, oh, man, you worry too much. I'm no fool. Let's move on to the next battlefield. Jesus. <laughs> you can carry two different types of weapons at once. I right, third character involved. Okay. Magical shit. Shit, yeah. The typing rebels are turning. The typing rebels are turning the world upside down. Let me help you enhance your power temporarily. <sighs> Press direction and triangle together to use various powerful ultimate skills. To use ultimate skills shall consume one bar of stamina. You can recover your stamina by attacking the enemies. Both of you have full stamina bars now, so no worries. Put. That was cool. Oh, that's cool, you can actually combine two attacks together. So if I end up actually using my skill and she uses hers, I can push them into it. Alright, we need to go this way. Alright, so it definitely feels like a mixture of uh, Dungeon Fighters and Golden Axe. And I'm actually on board with that. Yes, yes, alright, okay. Yeah, we're good. Ah, oh, cool. So you actually use right stick and circle to do stuff. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see what else we got here. More random stuff. Forest runes, picking up runes, golden runes. I'm pretty sure I've only got so many things I can put in my pocket. <laughs> There's an unusual arrow appearing on the ground ahead of us. That arrow indicates that you're about to fight while well, boss. You two be careful. Alright, boss time. So, tutorial-wise, this has been, alright, interesting. Smoke bomb? No. Uh, I'll take the golden brie. Yeah. So, I can't use everything that's here. If it was multiplayer, other people could pick up stuff, but, um... Yeah. Let's let's see what we got, boss-wise. So, press direction and square, you know, to use special skills. Well, well, these guys are not run-of-the-mill. Very well, show me what you have got. Show me what you got. 
State your name. I will not fight with nobody. You don't know who I am. Listen carefully. I am Guan Yu. Stop having a useless talk with this pretentious guy. Let him meet my snake. Let him meet my snake spear. The flame in the upper left of the screen shows that your fury meter is full. Press R2 to launch into fury mode. Oh, nice. It, <laughs> your it extraordinary meridians. Fury mode! Hi! Press R2 again to use Esoteric. Okay. Ah. Blade Tyrant! Blade Tyrant! Oh, no! Oh, no! Ah, you're strong enough, but unfortunately I'm very busy, so don't have time to waste. The next time we meet, it will be the end of you! <laughs> Die! His martial arts skill, his martial skills are not worth mentioning, but he sure flees fast. So obviously it's a multiplayer scrolling beat em up game. Um I'm on board with this. This is actually kinda cool. I I can get I can get behind this is actually like a multiplayer experience. If this was actually kind of a couch co-op game, I could see that. Training stage complete, obtain Guan Yu skill scroll. Uh we'll add character skill points. And able to learn more powerful skills, get your rewards in the mailbox. Yeah, cool. So, I'm assuming I can pick the other characters now, or am I still stuck with those two guys? Wow, it literally logged me out of the game? Huh. Yeah, I'll take that, thank you very much. So, I have to just do a... St it doesn't feel like it's actually in encouraging me to stick around in the game in any way, shape, or form. So microphone on, whatever else, yeah, chat filters. See what kind of crap comes out in that. So, sing all right, so single player, multiplayer training. So I'll get a little bit of single player and we'll actually quickly see if I can choose character, if I can choose a character I want, and if I can get, then I might try multiplayer for just a second. But character, yep, yeah, we need to change it. The only thing I have is that if you're having to play through campaign and then unlock a character before you can play as them, I'm not on board, yeah. Okay, this isn't too Oh, there's actually a fair amount of characters, is there? Yeah, all the rest of them are in there as well. <clears throat> yeah, so he's a leader, obviously. But... Well, uh, well she is the leader. I'm going to choose her. Ah, uh, you get multiple character types. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, I like that one. Cool. Neon wing. Right, so... Oh, you even have color choices and long. There we go. Works for me. So I've got my fasty, speedy character to play with. Uh, equipment and store for buying things, I'm sure. There's all this stuff to actually look forward to. Let's just jump into um, a little bit of the campaign and see what we got. I mean, I want to keep these games for these playthroughs a little bit short, but a uh, free-to-play game this is actually an easy... I mean, I can see it being reasonably entertaining. So uh, if you guys have never heard of this game... You might as well see what the first mission's like. I was gonna gonna leave it as it was, but it was just worth it. Activate all. I'm assuming those are all buffs and boosts that you can actually get as uh, released items or like bought items. A fiendish demon staged an uprising. All right. Uh, interesting as the story seems to be. Um, I'm Grant. During his free trial, will all be retained. A free trial on a character. Mm-mm, mm-mm, not on board with that. Oh, I'm assuming free trial. So they must actually, like, rotate characters so that you can unlock them as you go along. Start of the Rebellion? Okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm skipping all dialogue at this point just so I can get some gameplay in. Oh, nice! Oh, 
All right, so it's just money left picked up off the floor. Break that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Free money. All right, probably shouldn't care about that, but free money. <laughs> That's glorious. Just gotta free all those people. Days. No, well, that's that job done. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was actually felt gratifying. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so like, the special moves kind of feel quite gratifying whenever you pull them off. I make use of them decently. Um, assuming essentially the um, combat is going to be unbelievably repetitive. Especially with the single button for um, attack combos. It doesn't um, encourage you into actually mixing it up at all. So I imagine that's being a lot more fun whenever you got multiple players because you're actually doing a lot more damage and just killing through a lot of stuff. And the combos, like, it's really only four main combos that you have. I'm assuming your skills change and build up over time, but um, to introduce your characters, with it being as simple as it is, I, uh, I think it would actually probably mean better to actually show more of the variety rather than actually, ha well, I mean, it's, it's hard and hard to do whenever it's actually in mid-level, mid, mid -level, you're not really doing anything different. Hmm. It's hard, it's hard to judge, like, negatively in that way. For, like, it's actually, like this game obviously is... Based around a long term of play and uh, maximizing and like customizing the characters to your way of fighting for those kind of levels and stages. Because I remember being exactly the same with Dungeon Fighters. I enjoyed the hell out of it on the Xbox Live, but the biggest problem was that like the differentiation over time just got less and less. All right, so I'm starting to see a little bit more comboing going on here. So it's not just continued combos. It's actually some of your special attacks actually start that way. So they end up becoming like um, Street Fighter combos. So you're actually like doing present down, ups, forwards, and everything else. Okay, I can get on board with that a little bit more. There's a bit more depth to it than I originally thought. I thought maybe just up, downs, but it's actually mid-combo. If you actually like pull off special moves in the middle of it, you can actually pull off better combos. Alright, so I'm going to just finish off this one level. Uh, take a look at to see at the, what the boss is like in this one, and maybe take... I'm not even too sure I actually really want to play through the multiplayer bits, but I might actually see what the... Um, the wait is like, and I might get my final thoughts while waiting for a round to start. Fair enough. I assume those equip boxes are things I'll actually have to unlock over time. Okay, so boss battle time. Um, anything there I need to hold on to? Smoke bombs, meat buns, right, that'll heal me up if I need them. 
<laughs> Seems the guy in front of which for the <laughs> Seems that guy in the front with an evil look is Bo Chai. Stay put and surrender. Oh, there we go. It's reach time. Oh, no, that's not good. There we go, that's the health back. Ow. Ah, so the item that you selected actually stays on with you as well. That's cool. Good way to actually reheal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Almost there. Gotcha. Ah, oh, that was reasonably easy. <laughs> well, I actually made an absolute tit arse of it. I wanted to try and see what the special move would have been, but I didn't. I used too many specials before getting to that point. Oh, there's actually a time limit as well. Oh, it's actually just saying the time limit before the actual level change closes. So yeah, guys, this has been. Um, Knights of Valor, it's, uh, if you haven't played Dungeon Fighters, if you haven't played Final Fight, you haven't played Golden, uh, not Golden, uh, Golden Axe, you haven't played, like, um, a fantasy combat 2D fighter in a long while, not even really 2D, it's actually, like, a planar 2.5D, I suppose is the way to describe it, because it's, like, Streets of Rage, or Beats of Rage, or, uh, I'm trying to think of other games that are actually, like, in that same genre, like, the bold Batman Returns game from the Super Nintendo. There's a whole, like, genre of these kind of, like, scrolling beat-em-ups that, um, uh, that I've grew up on and really enjoy. Uh, essentially, the Capcom CPS era was one of my favorites, like, with uh, the original Captain Commando, with, um, what else was actually really good on the CPS? Oh man, I mean, Simpsons was actually a good scrolling beat em up, but it was actually a cheesy one. This one is a lot deeper. It kind of reminds me more of Dungeons and Dragons Shadows Over Mysteria, or um, what was the other one that actually had like uh, medieval combat in it? It, it used to come in a fight, double pack with Final Fight, Final Fact, Double Impact. What was it called? Uh, King of Dragons, possibly? King of Dragons, King of the Dragons? Um, I know, David, if you're actually watching this video, you'll you'll know it well, because like you've been searching for that for long years. I think you just recently got a copy on Super Nintendo. But this game isn't bad. It's uh, entertaining. It's a modern, free-to-play scrolling beam up um, If you can get a couple of friends in to play this, it could be a really good rip-roaring time to run through a bunch of missions. But uh, for me, without playing, a, um, without playing with other people in this, it really holds not that much interest to me. I'm glad it was, it's, uh, it's MMO Lite. And its method, it's got you a plot of things that you can actually do and play with and enjoy, but uh, I don't know. Oh, hang on, down tiger plus one. Oh, and there's other stuff in here, is there? Yay, sweet cloth armor. Uh huh. So we got a bunch of stuff that levels up our stats. Cool beans, works for me. Yes, that's good. And skills, we got to choose one. So I might set this up, uh, yeah, I'll grab that dashing skill. So we've got that dashing skill and we'll jump out and see if we can try the multiplayer now and see if it's actually worthwhile getting into. But yeah, go back to title. Um, we'll just see if it actually finds a game reasonably quick because uh, it, it's a reasonably recent game. Search for games, there we go. Just quickly join a random game, there we go. So essentially, these um, scrolling beat 'em up games, uh, especially when it was the Dungeon Fighters, they kind of tended towards their high level gamers or high level players very, very quickly because of 
the um the the escalation skill you said you had people all sitting at the end skill of it are all like waiting for big matches to happen waiting for people of equal level to play it is kind of like the big run that always happens with most mmos that the people who start playing you can solo most of it on your own work your way through maybe do it a little bit faster with friends but whenever you actually have to go um there we go i'm ready <clears throat> the um whenever you get to the point of actually oh there we go nice to meet you <laughs> Might as well say it to people. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm a kill machine. Count me in. There we go. I just had to say another comment afterwards. The um, the actual gameplay is really, really reminiscent of, like I said, Dungeons and Dragons: Shadow of Mystaria and Tower of Doom, with uh, which in fact isn't actually all that kind of like. Um, which isn't all that kind of like uh, active. Oh, I'm just realized I'm actually sitting in the voice chat. <laughs> hey guys, they're actually in the voice chat of the game. I apologize completely. I'll actually jump in and I can't really change that, can I? Oh man. Sorry about this. I'm actually recording live on Twitch um, at the moment. So you'll be hearing me talking while I'm actually recording here as well. So um, the... Did I get lose the connection or did I get booted? I may have gotten booted. The, um, the game is actually... What way to describe it? Like I said, uh, Shadows of Mystaria, Tower of Doom, Double Dragon, Final Fight, Streets of Rage, but with extended kind of uh, equipment counts. Reminds me even of, like, say, Dragon's Crown in a lot of ways as well. So it's um, it, it, it's it's got depth. It's got uh, There's plenty of entertaining depth in here, but I imagine it's going to tend itself towards people who've been playing it for a long period of time uh, at the tail end of the content, where it's actually all about essentially doing the insanity levels. What's this? Puppet elimination? Oh. Yep, there we go. We're burning our way through these guys. So, obviously, it's a little much more fun whenever you actually have another player along with you. Like, this is a lot more enjoyable than whenever it's playing it solo. Um, admittedly, if we had had two different characters, we'd probably see a little bit more variety different but it's just the fact that we're playing exactly the same character. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, let's rock and roll. On to the next screen. I hope I'm actually not taking all of the money. It's actually shared evenly between us. Okay, was that it? <laughs> I was in there for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I was removed from the group by the leader? Okay, so the game actually ended. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, obviously this is what happens uh, whenever you're playing online, if you're actually like uh, chatting to people at the same time. You're not really chatting to the people, but you're chatting to your stream while you're actually like playing a game. Probably annoying the hell out of the player. But the... Um, there's, I can't, there's not much really else for me to say about this, other than... Give it a try. It's free to play. You can't you can't go wrong with a free to play game that actually offers you a lot of accessibility right from the beginning. Um, you don't have a selection of characters. You don't have uh, the expansive kind of like amount of material to work with. Recommend to friends. <laughs> there you go. You can actually immediately recommend to friends and probably get a bonus for actually doing so. Um, Knights of Valor is entertaining, but I'm not I'm not going to be playing it for very, very long. If anybody wants to see more Knights of Valor content here on the channel, uh, say underneath if you're a big fan of the series. Uh, tell me more, because I, obviously with it being, like they say, in 15 years of anniversary, there's been probably a bunch of games in the series. I'm going to look up more about them and find out more, but if you know more, make sure to say it in the comments underneath. If you enjoy me talking about Knights of Valor and you want to actually uh, get in touch and you want to follow and watch more stuff that I've actually said, you can always hit the subscribe button that's right up there at the top of the screen or mattering on whatever uh, system that you're watching this on, hit the follow, the like, whatever else. And if you actually want to, if you can't do any of that, if you cannot understand why you can't find me, you can't see me on a regular basis, all you have to do is just search for this. Just search for Past Teacher Skin. If you search for that on Google, you're going to find your way back to my door in some way shape or form i'm not exactly hiding from people out there so if you actually go to do that uh go do that oh yeah and also if you're on youtube up here 
there's actually a list of things. There's, this would be the Free Prey Fly Days and Made in Japan series listed up at the top. And down here in the corner, there'll be a box showing a video recommended just for you. Recommended by Google Analytics to say that mm, maybe if you like these things, you might like this guy's video on this as well. So make sure to click that. So, um, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I have enjoyed myself. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.